We're here with Black Magic. Paul's going to show us the new version of Resolve and how it works as a simple editor. Uh, it has huge depth, but we're going to look at the simple features now. Paul, tell us about this. So we introduced DaVinci Resolve 12.5 as a public beta here at NAB this week, and we've uh, added dozens and dozens of new editing features. There's actually over 250 new features in total for the whole application. Most of those are in the editing area, so I'm going to show you some things that make it really easy and fast to edit programs with. And, and there's a free version and a paid version? Yep, there's a free version. The free version lets you edit SD, HD, and Ultra HD. If you need to go beyond Ultra HD to do film work or stereoscopic 3D or collaborative workflow stuff, you would use DaVinci Resolve 12.5 Studio, which is $9.95. Great. So let's see what this would do if I wanted to come in with a news story and cut it in a hurry and output it. All right, so I'm going to just go into the basics, show you how to mark clips, drag them to the timeline, and get them in really quick. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load a clip into my viewer by just double clicking on it. Marking clips is very easy. You just simply tap the I or the O key. You can use the buttons on the keyboard. There are keyboard shortcuts for everything that you can customize. So if you're used to editing on another system, you can make all the keys match. In addition to dragging and dropping to the timeline, you can drag to the program monitor. You get different styles of edits you can do here. The default is an overwrite. If you wanted to do a quick insert to put a clip in the middle of these two, you just select insert like that. I'm going to grab a couple more clips and we're just going to assemble our timeline really quickly. I can now append as many clips as I want to to the end of this. So if you know you've got a bunch of shots, you just want to throw them all on the end. You can do that very quickly as well. Now, let's uh, do another clip that involves audio. Let's say you've got an interview and you're going to be cutting interview plus B-roll, right? So one of the new features in Resolve 12.5 is the ability to see the audio waveform at the same time as you're seeing the video. So I can see exactly where he starts and stops every sentence. I can zoom into that audio waveform, which is actually a little easier to see, and I can find a sentence. So I know that he says, but where did he come from? Right about here. So I'm going to mark my in there and my out about there. We're going to just drag that to my timeline. Zoom out so you can hear that a little bit. And there you go. So just by using the audio waveform, I very quickly found out found the sentence I wanted. I edited it into my timeline. I can, of course, blade and remove things. There are also a bunch of new tools. So if I wanted to, say, replace this shot with a longer shot, we have this new uh, four-point edit, which will take the longer contents of this shot, replace the one in the timeline. See how this is longer? It's going to push everything else down. So I'm just going to use this new ripple overwrite command to replace that shot in the timeline with a longer one, and it moves everything else down for me in one fell swoop. So let's look at the trimming tools in DaVinci Resolve. If I use the trim button here on the interface or hit the T key, I go into trim mode, and it's context sensitive. So if I'm in the middle of a clip, it's a roll tool. If I'm on the edge of a clip, it's a ripple tool. In either direction, of course, you can ripple. And if I hold in the middle, if I hold in the middle, you get a four up. And what you see in this four up is the in and out point of the clip that I'm editing on the top and the adjacent clips on the left and right on the bottom. If I do a slide where I'm sliding this clip on the timeline, I'm making the clip on the left and right shorter and longer, which is why their frames are moving, and the clip in the middle is staying the same, so the ones on the top are not moving. So that's just a really quick look at how easy it is to, quick, to very quickly trim footage in DaVinci Resolve. Should we take a look at some color correction? Yes, please. All right, so basic color correction. You're you know, trying to get your new story out really fast. You can click to the color page, and right there on the bottom left are your primaries, and that's probably what you're going to want to work with most of the time. Here are all the clips that are in my timeline. So I can go to my primaries, and I can just quickly bring my gain down a little. I can use my scopes to make sure that I'm all within the levels that I want to be in. And if I even want to add a little saturation, I can just slide up on the saturation a little bit. And you can see how that clip looks very, very different than it did before. And just nice quick change. And if you have multiple clips in the timeline that all need the same correction, you can select more than one clip to correct at the same time? Yeah, absolutely. So if I select this other clip of her and I want it to match the one I already did, I just center click on this one and she matches. Just that easy. I can also create groups and grade groups of clips at a time too. So if you've got all your, your interview that you want to grade the same way, you select all your interview shots and just do a master grade on all of them.